Hello, I guess Falcha Odev show lesson Ekehid. Hello, welcome. This is lesson four. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at J and Hanamarst. What is your name? Before we begin, just a quick note as always, the link to this PDF, this lesson file, will be in the comment section below the video as well a link to the folder containing the course files for all the lessons in the course. And as we go through the lesson, remember you can pause the video and repeat after me. Make sure that you're comfortable with the, the phrases we're looking at and you can always play them again. But I will tend to say phrases a few times and you can be pausing the video where necessary. So, Jane Tannemarst, what's your name? In this lesson, we're going to be looking at introducing the, what's known as the cupola, and we'll see what that means. Um, and also telling people what your name is and asking other people their names. So, Jane Tannemarst, Jane Tannemarst, what's your name? So, there's a very simple way to ask people who they are in Gaelic. Um, equivalent to in English saying, who are you? And that is ko use. Ko use. Who are you? And obviously like the English phrase, uh, who are you, uh, is a bit impolite. So there's only certain situations you might want to use that. The direct answer to ko use is is misha, and then your name. So, who are you? I am, and then your name. So, the more polite way um, to ask what somebody's name is, like you would do in English, what's your name? J in Tannemahurst. We'll see this phrase broken down here. We have a question first. J, what? J and Tannem. And in this phrase, we use the definite form of the noun. So, it's what is the name? that is on you. And when we introduce these purple boxes, uh, nouns, we will give masculine or feminine. It tells you the gender of the noun. And you'll also see here in brackets, the definite article that corresponds to this. So here we have a masculine noun that begins with a vowel, anum, anum. And therefore, the Gaelic for the name is Antanum, uh, A-N-T hyphen. So J Antanum, aha orst. What is the name that is on you? So this is often answered the same way that you would answer the ko use is misha phrase. A lot, you'll often hear an answer to this phrase given as is misha, and then your name. But like in English, you can answer this in a number of ways. So what is your name? My name is. Um, obviously that can seem a little formal um, to repeat the question. Sometimes you do it, sometimes you won't. And it's the same in Gaelic. The full answer to this, which is worth looking at just to get the structure and the, of the phrase to see how the answer in its complete form is given. So, J and Hanum, aha orst, she, Martin, and Hanum, aha odum. She, Martin, and Hanum, aha odum. Martin is the name that is on me. You could also shorten this, it's Misha Martin. And you can drop the name part. She Martin Ahodum. It's Martin that's on me. And the, the name is understood from the question. So this can the and Hanum and the answer can be dropped. She Martin and Hanum Ahodum. She Martin Ahodum. It's Misha Martin. I've been asked before, why is the answer 
And we're going, we're going on to look at this construction here and um, the reason why it's not ha in the answer. You don't say ha and then what name is on you. You use this structure here, she. And the reason for that is that the J question is almost like what is the, the cupola is uh, in a way part of that question. So J and Hannam Ahorst, She Martin and Hannam Aha Autumn. You'll notice that these sentences are following a slightly different pattern, uh, as I've just noted, to that which we saw with Hami Guma. So we're not using Hami here, we're using a different setup, a different structure. And that's because the verb to be is or am for the present tense has what's known as a cupola. And this is also the case with Italian. There's two ways to answer question, to phrase sentences that use the verb to be. And the cupola, it takes a different form of the main verb. So the cupola is, I-S in Gaelic, is being used to give emphasis to the subject of a sentence. And these are known in English as cleft sentences. And they do exist in English, um, but in English, the difference is that the, the form of to be, i.e. it's, doesn't change. So if we look at these sentences, these are cleft sentences in English. It's Joey whom we're looking for. It's money that I love. It was from John that she heard the news. So if you think about the structure here, we are looking for Joey. It's Joey whom we're looking for. So we are looking for Joey. There's no emphasis, it's just a statement. But it's Joey we're looking for. We're bringing this name, this noun, to the front of the sentence. So fronting the sentence with the important piece of information. The same here, I love money is just a simple statement. But if you want to emphasize this, you bring to emphasize the noun, it's money that I love. Um, you're bringing, you're fronting the sentence with the thing that's most important, the thing you want to emphasize. And again here, she heard the news from John. Statement, we're just telling that information, not passing comment. She heard the news from John. But if we want to highlight that it was John that told this person, that's that particular piece of information is important then we can front the sentence and say, it was from John that she heard the news. So this is what's happening in English and it's exactly the same thing in Gaelic. Um, in English, it's more optional than it is in Gaelic. There's certain situations where you have to do this. And obviously with Gaelic, the form of it's, it was or it is, is changing to a couple as opposed to in English, it just stays the same form that it would be in the other types of sentence. But it is useful to understand that these things exist, this concept exists. Um, it's not a new concept that exists for Gaelic. So here we have um, the particles which give you the, the cupola, this she phrase. And you'll see that this pattern is similar to what we saw with evil, ha, chanil. But here, an, is, and ha. And I've presented these in this manner here because it's not always anye, she, chanye. These are the important, this is the coupla, and they pair with uh, pronouns to give you she. So these particles are very similar to what we saw with. Evel, ha, chaniel. You ask a question with an, and if it's e, we're using anye, she, chanye. So here's another example of cleft sentences or fronted sentences, um, this time giving you examples in Gaelic to show the additional features that uh, can be used in Gaelic, I suppose. So here we have a sentence which is just giving uh, a straightforward piece of information. Chunik, Martin, and program, and Jay. 
Chynig Martin and program and Jay. Martin saw the program yesterday. So if we want to emphasize the proper noun Martin and emphasize who it was that saw the, pro saw, saw the program, she Martin a chunic and program and J. It's Martin who saw the program yesterday as opposed to somebody else seeing it. If we want, uh, want to emphasize that it's this particular program that, that it that Martin saw, she am program a chunic Martin and J. So this time we're bringing am program to the front. So it's the program that Martin saw yesterday as opposed to a film or something else. If we want to emphasize when it was that Martin saw the program, we can bring an J. And here you can see that she has changed to sound because it's a it's not dealing with a noun. So here we have a noun, a noun, here an adverb of time, and here a verb. So this time we have sound and j, a chunic, marston, and program. It's yesterday that Martin saw the program as opposed to at another time. Sound and j, a chunic, marston, and program. And lastly, and this one doesn't work quite so well in the translation, in Gaelic we can say, we can front with the verb, um, emphasize the verb, and say that it's saw the program that Martin did yesterday. So we're emphasizing the action. Sound a chunic Martin and program and J. So it's saw the program that Martin did yesterday. So as I say, the translation in, into English doesn't work quite as well, but you can follow the principle that this time we're emphasizing the action that Martin did on the program yesterday. Sound a chunic Martin and program and J. So to get back to the J and Tanum aha orst, she Martin and Tanum aha orum. This is why we're giving this answer for we're saying that it's our name specifically that's on us as opposed to another name. We're emphasizing the name here. And here, so typically, it's a, and this is often given as, as the couple itself, she, but really traditionally this a is telling you that it's a masculine thing we're talking about. That is not always the case here, so you'll see in notes. The a eh, which follows is or which is often abbreviated to is here corresponds to the gender of the subject, i.e., name being a masculine now noun. However, this has now become a default option and is heard more and more where traditionally, I suppose, or strictly correctly, in the traditional sense, it would be she that would have been used. So you still hear e like we saw when we discussed the weather, kimid aha enamishid. How is the weather? And given that anamishith or anjiji uh, feminine nouns, we answered with ha i, ha i bria, ha i grianach. So don't worry too much about this just now at the moment. We'll use she with the coupler. The other new piece of information we're being introduced to here is this. Orst and Orum. So this is a prepositional pronoun. And these are very, very common and handy phrases in the Celtic languages, particularly. They're used an awful lot more in the Celtic languages than they are in other languages. And it's basically when you get a preposition like on or in or at, these type of prepositions combine with the pronouns. So we saw the pronouns in the first lesson. Mi, u, e, i, shin, shiv, and iad. So here we have id, a-i-r, id, which means on, combining to give the meaning on me, on you, on him, 
on her, on you, plural or formal, on us and on them. So J and Tanam Aha Orst, what is the name that's on you? And we saw She, then your name, and Tanam Aha Odom, it's your name that is on me. So me becomes Odom, U becomes Orst, E becomes Eth, E becomes Ode, Shiv becomes Odiv, Shin becomes Odin, and Iad becomes Ode. Odom, Orst, Eth, Ode, Odiv, Odin, Ode. J and Tanam Aha Ode Maha. What are what is the name that is on them? J and Tanam Ahode. What are their name? So in this exercise, again, um, we can use this exercise in pairs in the classroom and taking turns asking J and Tanam Aha and then use the the correct prepositional pronoun. So in this instance, J and Tanam Aha. Ode. In this instance, J and Tanam Aha Ev. And if we have things like bands where there's a number of people, J and Tanam Aha Ode. J and Tanam Aha Ode. What are their names? So some of you may recognize some of these people, others may not. Um, these are all famous uh, Gaelic singers or traditional artists or poets uh, and part of the reason for this exercise is to introduce some of these people to learners it's all very important that you uh, take part in the culture that surrounds the language and un understand the artists and poets and important people in the gaelic world so i'll read through the exercise and explain who these people are briefly so J and Tanam Aha Ode. What is her name? She Anna Varstin Aha Ode. She Anna Varstin Aha Ode. Anne Martin. And Ha E Asenilin Skianach. She is from Sky. Ha E Asenilin Skianach. She is from Sky. She's a Gaelic singer. So, J and Tanam Aha Ode. She Anna Varstin Aha Ode. It's Anna Aha Ode. J and Tanam Aha Ed. What is his name? She Anus Patrick Kimball Aha Ed. J and Tanam Aha Ed. She and there's Patrick Campbell, aha, eth. Angus Patrick Campbell is a Gaelic writer and poet. Ha, eh, a, uj to jess. He's from South East. Ha, eh, a, uj to jess. Jane Tanama, eth. She and there's Patrick Campbell, aha, eth. J in Tanamaha Ode. What is her name? J in Tanamaha Ode. She Kenna Kimball in Tanamaha Ode. Ha e Asenilin Skianach. So this is Kenna Campbell, who's also from the Isle of Sky. J in Tanamaha Ode. What's her name? She Kenna Kimball and Tanam Ahode. And again, a Gaelic singer. She and Tanam Aha Ed. Now, listeners in Scotland may uh, know who this fellow is. He was on the television a lot in the late 80s, early 90s, I believe. Um, this is Donnie Dottoman. 
So J and Tanum uh, is she Donny Dotman uh, is she Donny Dotman and Tanum uh, is Donny Dotman is his name. So this was a children's TV program uh, in Gaelic that went out on national television in Scotland. So an awful lot of Scottish people are aware of Gaelic through the influence uh, and programmes of Donny Dotton. So J and Tannum aha is. J and Tannum aha is. Well, she Donny Roch aha show. She Donny Roch and Tannum aha is. J and Tannum aha is. She Donny Roch and Tannum aha is. What's his What's his name? His name is Donny Munro. Um, and Donny Munro was a singer with this band here, which we'll come on to, Runrig. J and Tannum Aha is, and we've seen this man a couple of times in the course so far. This is Saur Le Machgelehin, famous Gaelic poet from Rarsid. So J and Hanum Aha is. She saw the and Hanum Aha is. She saw the MacLean and Hanum Aha is. Sorley McLean is his name. Ha e a Rarset. He is from Rarset. J and Hanum Aha is. What's his name? She Dukey McLean and Hanum Aha is. Dukey McLean. Um, and he's not a Gaelic speaker, but he's from Perthshire, uh, another famous Scottish singer. So J and Hanum Aha is. She Dukey McLean. And then I'm a ha it. J and Hanum a ha it. What's his name? J and Hanum a ha it. She could have read you like a level a ha it. Ha a a oos to Jess. J and Hanum a ha it. She. Good of Rija, Michael the Vool, Aha is Gilbert Macmillan, is his name, and he is from South East. Uh, and Good of Rija was um, briefly in the Outlander television series. He's a Gaelic singer, educator, uh, and as I say, Ha e a Uj de Jess, he's from South East. J and Hanamaha is She Gilidrije Michilavul and Hanam Aha is. This one, J and Hanam Aha is. What's his name? J and Hanamaha is. Well, she She Greek is Bowdy and Hanam Aha is. She Greek is Bowdy and Hanam. Aha is Gregor Lowry is his name. Jane Hanamaha is She Gregor Lowry and Hanamaha is Ha e a Bala Hulish. Ha Bala Hulish. He's from Bala Hulish. And as you can see, he's a Gaelic singer, uh, also dabbles in rap and Gaelic uh, as well as traditional music, and he's also a piper. Jay and Tannum Aha Odder. What's her name? Jay and Tannum Aha Odder. She Joy Dunlop and Tannum Aha Odder. She Joy Dunlop and Tannum Aha Odder. Joy Dunlop is her name. 
Jane Tanama Hoda, she joined him up in Tanama Ahoda. Joined him up is a Gaelic singer, step dancer, and also presents the weather on BBC Alava. We've also seen this character, Jay and Tanam Ahode. What's her name? She Julie Fowlis and Tanam Aha Ode. Her name is Julie Fowlis. Jay and Tanam Ahode. She Julie Fowlis and Tanam Aha Ode. Julie Fowlis is her name. Famous Gaelic singer and traditional. Musician. Ha e a used to She's from North East. Ha e a used to She and Tanam aha ode. What's her name? She and Tanam ahode. She married McLeod and Tanam aha ode. Margaret McLeod. She and Tanam Ahode. She married Nicleod and Tanam Ahode. She also has a nickname, Married Nahogany. Married Nahogany. Nahogany were a band in the 70s, and Married is the sister of Donnie Dotman. And both of these people were in the famous Gaelic band from the 70s. Nahogany and Myrid is still known by that nickname. So, J and Tanam Aha Ode. She Myrid Nahogany and Tanam Aha Ode. J and Tanam Aha Ode. What's her name? J and Tanam Aha Ode. Not she. Mariana. Nicolric and Tanum, aha other. She and Tanum, aha other. She married Marianna Nicolric and Tanum, aha other. And Marianna is the daughter of Kenna Kimble. So, ha i a Glasgow, she's from Glasgow. Ach. Ha e as a Nilan Skianach Kitchach. So she's from Glasgow, but she's also from the Isle of Sky. She and Tanama Hode. She Mariana Nicoldic. Aha Ode. And in the last two, we we'll use Ode on them. She and Tanam Aha Ode. This is a new band. Ha eid a. Lewis, Hayata Ilin Lewis, they're from the Isle of Lewis. She and Hanum Aha Ode. She, Pete and Diesel, and Hanum Aha Ode. Their name is Pete and Diesel. So, a uh, relatively new popular band in the Highlands and in the Hebrides. And Ha Iad. A uh, Lewis. They are from Lewis. And Miadig, last of all, J and Hannah Mahoda. J and Hannah Mahoda. What's their name? She Runrig Ahoda. Runrig is their name. She Runrig and Hannah Ahoda. And here we have Donny Roch. Again, so J and Hannah Maha is She Donny Roch Aha is J and Hannah Maha Oder She Runrig and Hannah Maha Oder. And below you'll see a selection of these names to show you how they're spelt. So we have Gregor for Gregor, Gedevige for Gilbride. Or Gilbert is often the translation given for that. Sorle, Sorle, Summerled or Sorley. Mary for Mary. 
made it from market made it Douglas Douglas or Doogie Douglas Doll for Donald Doll Anna for Anne Anna Ely Ely and Ely is often used as a name in English, um, but it's also given as the translation of the name Helen. A nurse, Angus, a nurse. Seamus, Seamus, and this is the Gaelic for James and also Hamish. Seamus, Alistair. Alistair, and with a D in Gaelic, often with a D in Alistair, Alistair. Behag, Behag, Behag is the Gaelic version of Beth. And then Roanage, Roanage, which is the Gaelic version of either Rona or Rachel. Ruinage. So here's a brief dialogue that we'll read through. Um, so again, if you're in a class, you can work through this in pairs and then work out the translations. But for now, I'll read both parts. So we have a conversation between Anna and Seamus. Gav Maleshkal, Jane Tanamahorst. Feskema She Seamus Ahodum Jane Hanama Horst Hain Feskema Ahamish Ismisha Anna Kim in a how Hanamish Wavasakandu Nahel Hanya Midonna Taplat Hai Fuad Agus Fluch Kershkajor Agusuhim Hami gema tapalat a hami ski. Hami a gopith and ju. Kleva. Hamisha a gopith kitchach. Oh, hami a faikin mo harich. Oh, ma hain. Jay and hamam a ha ed do harich. She ian a ha ed mo harich. Hachin a draster. Show e. Feskema a hamish. Kim in a how and Jew. A villa gopeth. Hammy gopeth, tap lat. Hammy gama, tap lat. A hammy a gopeth. Ian, show Anna. Anna, show Mohadij Ian. So the words that appeared in bold here in the, in the dialogue we haven't seen before. So we have kuchach, kuchach which means also to. Kuchach. And we saw Mocharaj, my friend. Mocharaj. And we saw your friend. Do Kharaj. Do Kharaj. So I'll read through that again, and this time giving the translation. So if you want to go at working these through yourself, you can pause the video until you're done with that before I give the answers. So first of all, Anna says, Gav Moleshkal, J and Hanum Aha Orst. And Aha Orst is often abbreviated here, as you'll see with the apostrophe, just because there's vowels coming together. So this is run together. Gav Moleshkal, J and Hanum Aha Orst. We saw this in lesson Aga in lesson two. Uh, excuse me, Gav Leshkal. Jane Tanamorst, what's your name? Seamus replies, Fesker Ma. Fesker Ma, good afternoon. She Seamus Ahodum. She Seamus Ahodum. And here he's giving the short version of the answer. So the full answer we've seen would be She Seamus and Tanam Aha Odum. But for 
brevity for being brief, she Seamus Adam. James is the name that's on me. J and Tanum a ha orst hain. J and Tanum a horst hain. What's the name that's on you yourself? Hain, just giving the emphasis on yourself. Fesker ma a hamish. Here we have a uh, uh, good afternoon. This time Seamus in the vocative case. So Seamus fesker ma a hamish. Is Mishe Anna? I am Anna. Kimira how? How are you? Ha anamishes uavasach and you nachel. The weather is terrible today, isn't it? Chanyami dona taplat. I'm not bad, thanks. Ha i fuud agus fluch kashkenyor. It's cold and wet, right enough. Agasuhin. Hamikima taplat. So Agasuhin, and you yourself? And then Anna replies, Hamikima taplat. Ach hamiski. I'm well, thank you, but I'm tired. Hami egopith, and you? I am working today. Gleva. Hamisha Egopith Kijak. Very good. I am working also as well. Oh, Hami Efaikin Mocharaj. Oh, I see, I am seeing my friend. So there's no present tense of the verbs in Gaelic. So this structure here, Hami Efaikin. Mocharaj could either be translated as I am seeing my friend, which is literally what it says, but that stands in place also of I see my friend. Hami Faikin Mocharaj. Oh, Mahin. Oh, very good. Excellent. J and Hanam Aha Ed the Kharaj. J and Hanam Ed the Kharaj. So again shortened in this version. J and Hanam it the J and Hanam aha it the What's the name on your friend? She Ian aha it Mocharic. Ian is the name is on my friend. So She Ian and Hanam aha it Mocharic. She Ian aha it Mocharic. It's important to get used to bits of the information dropping off and um, we don't always say phrases in their entirety so people aren't always going to repeat in dialogues she ian and hanam aha ed mocharaj and j and hanam aha ed dekharaj uh, often piece, pieces of the sentence will be implied or left out so she ian aha ed mocharaj ha e chien Adrasta, Shoe. So he is coming just now. Here he is, Shoe. So this is him. Here he is. Feskama, Hamish. So Ian speaking now, and he's saying good afternoon again to Seamus in the vocative. Feskama, a Hamish. Kim and how are you? How are you yourself? How are you today? Evel u egobud, are you working? So he's answering Kimira how and you first. Hami gima taplat, ach hami egobud. So he's he's well and he's working, or he's saying but he's working. Hami gima taplat, ach hami egobud. He's well but he is working. Ian, show Anna. Anna show Mocharaj Ian. And here we see a quick way to introduce people. So rather than say, um, introduce people with the full phrase with their names, we just say show Anna. So this is Anna. And then Anna show Mocharaj Ian. Anna, this is my friend Ian. 
So, shin agave du. That's it for today. Uh, so if you read through this translation and translate, and there's plenty of practice you can go through with the images here. And this is some new information that we can add to our diaries, talking about the names that are on friends, people you know. J and Hanum aha orst she aha odum. She aha odum. Filling in the names of people you know. So, tap life, I guess, uh, be an alive, and